friends of Burnt River Ranch. Welcome to another video. This morning I'm going to be doing a tour of our new milking stanchion and I'm also going to be showing you our new vac pump that we're using to milk our cows. So stay tuned. All right so first up is our new to us vac pump. This is new to us but it's old. These things were made anywhere from the 1940s to the 1960s. This is a Surge SP11 pump. And if you know anything about vacuum pumps and milking cows, you know that this one is a really high quality pump. So anyways, this thing is around 80 years old. And honestly, it still works perfectly. This thing is a vintage oldie but a goodie. So this vacuum pump is specifically designed to milk cows. And if you've watched our earlier videos, you know that we started with a cheap Vever vac pump, a 12 CFM vac pump. And you can watch my earlier videos for that if that's something that you're interested in. But I do want to just say that, unfortunately, that system didn't even last us six months before that pump crapped out. And we tried everything to design our system for preventing any failure of that pump because we did hear from some people that those pumps don't hold up. So we did everything from adding moisture traps, a balance tank, various filters, just really ensuring that we did everything that we could to make sure that that vacuum system kept a nice consistent supply of vacuum. Even when you were taking inflations off the cow and putting them on the cow, really making sure that there was no moisture that could get in the pump, keeping the oil topped up and bringing that pump in every time it got cold and only bringing it out at milking time. So we ensure that it stayed warm until we were ready to milk and sadly it still crapped out on us and it wasn't even cold when it crapped out on us it was like plus five plus ten and it started having issues and actually what happened was the fuse inside of it it's a, a non-replaceable fuse the fuse blew and it's it's just not a fuse that you can replace so my husband was able to get it working again by taking the fuse out completely and rigging it up so that it just runs without that. Unfortunately, a couple times after I used it again, it started not working. So we were lucky enough that a neighbor of ours was going down south further in our province and was able to pick up this nice Surge SP11 pump and some other goodies that came along with it for a really reasonable price. And we brought it home and it fired right up, no issues. We changed the oil on it and it's good to go. So yesterday we finished up building our stanchion Finally, it's been a long time coming, and the reason we've been putting it off is because our main milk cow, Penelope, she really doesn't need a stanchion. She's pretty bomb-proof, and you can kind of milk her anywhere. She stands nicely, and yeah, so we just never built one for her, but I know that next year we're going to be having a heifer that's going to be milked for the first time, so it's a good idea to have a stanchion in place just in case we need it. So we decided to go ahead and build one before it got really cold, and I'm going to give you guys a tour of what we built. So here she is in all her glory. Here's our new stanchion. Hopefully you guys can see that. We have a nice two by six floor with some rubber mat on top of it. So that's what it looks like underneath. Rubber mats just help to keep it clean if they pee or poop or have muddy feet or whatever. It's easy to clean those off. We have some four by four posts on each corner. We have a two by six here, a two by four here. I would have liked to have a two by six here, but we didn't have one, so that's what that is on there for now, and we can change it if needed in the future. Another thing I'd like to add in the future, possibly, is a swing bar to bring them over here if needed, but we'll add that at a later date if required. And here's the head gate. We made this whole stanchion about three feet wide. I'm probably going to add a feed bucket onto the front of it, but for now I'll just use a pan down there. Here's the head gate portion of it. So to use it, you push your board over. There's a hole here. Shove your bolt in there like so. And that locks your cow in place. The distance in here is about seven inches. You can measure your cow and make it to what they need. But yeah, that's the stanchion. It's going to be super handy for taking blood samples or giving medications or any of that kind of stuff. It just holds your cow nice and still. They can't move side to side. And obviously it's going to be really nice for training. 
Okay, so let's go get Penelope and let's bring her in the stanchion for the first time. She's been milked in a headgate before in the place that we got her from, but I don't know if she's ever been in a stanchion. And Penelope, she doesn't love change. She's very tolerant, but she usually pees and poops everywhere when there's something that changed. So I'm expecting that to happen today, but let's see if we can get her in the stanchion. This is the 